first guest tonight was born in Scotland, lives in America, and is married to a Peruvian woman. But he's still the Aussiest guy in the world because he's saying, I come from a land down under. He's a man at work. He's Colin Hay. <laughs> We, of course, have someone here who has gone solo, uh, left a minute work, uh, and is doing an amazing show they around the world. <laughs> they left you. <laughs> were there moments when you were kind of out on the road, you were touring, you were in the middle of nowhere, and you kind of just went, what am I doing here? When the band broke up, I started playing acoustic guitar and singing, and I started to tell people what had happened, and uh, people started to laugh. <laughs> so I just kept on doing it, and uh, so it just, it just developed into a show which I call Man at Work, because it's very simple. Go, oh, it's that guy. Oh, that's that guy. It was an, oh, that's that guy. So it seems to sum it up. Is it, there's so, a story about you being in a, in a service station somewhere in the States. I was in the minivan in St. Louis, <laughs> uh, filling up the minivan with gas, and, uh, and I went in to pay the woman, and she said to me, uh, she said, you have a nice accent, where are you from? And I said, uh, well, originally I'm from Scotland. She said, oh, Scotland. And uh, she said, what are you doing here? I said, oh, I live here. She said, oh, I don't like it here. I said, really? She said, no, I don't like it here. I said, well, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? She said, probably the land down under. And I said, you know, I wrote that song. She said, what? <laughs> She said, you did not. I said, I did. She said, you did not. And just then the tour manager walked in. I said, hey, Jeff. I said, I said, what do you think is the most popular song that I've ever written? And he said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so then she said, anyway, I know you didn't write that song because you don't remind me at all of Sting. <laughs> Yes, sir. We didn't actually talk about supergroups before, but weren't you in Ringo Starr supergroup? Yeah, well, the first, um, first of all, I was the only guitarist in the band. I was very nervous because I've never been known to be, um, I've never been known for my lead guitar playing. And uh, the first song was, um, we had to learn, was, a, was a, a song with an Eric Clapton solo in it. And it was a new song. And Ringo said, uh, he said, let's do this new song. He goes, I don't like doing new songs, but let's just do this new song, get it out of the way, you know. And I said, OK. I said, oh, great, boss. It's the first song. And I just met him, so I was very nervous. I said, that's great. The first song's got an Eric Clapton solo in it. Terrific. He goes, don't worry, Carl. Just do your version of Eric's solo. He goes, it's cool, man. You know, just do your version of Eric's solo. Do your own solo. Now, do your version of Eric's solo. So, said, okay. <laughs> so, so we played the song, and it came to the solo, and I messed up something shocking, you know, even to the point where he goes, oh. <laughs> And at the end, Paul Carrick, who was playing the keyboard, he says, don't worry, boss. Carl was just doing his version of Eric Idle solo. <laughs> <laughs> so we got off to a good start. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Attention! By the mass, at first glance, um, <laughs> old fashioned by prehistoric man. As per. As per. <laughs> as per. Sorry, not very high. As per purposefully. Yes. As the cathedrals of a later era. <laughs> though in many cases. <laughs> to giants, fairies. How long's the book? <laughs> to, giants, <laughs> to giants and fairies from outer space. Eagle Rock. It's Eagle, Eagle Rock, Rock, Daddy Cole. Cool. Cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm, the monuments are really more than a few hundred miles. Yeah. For my first point of the night, <laughs> yep. it's Old Lang Syne uh -huh. by Billy Joel. Yes, it is. <laughs> The traditional Scottish song written by Robert Burns. Oh, yeah, OK. Oh, Lang Syne, okay. covered by Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> it is mid, it's midsummer's eve. The shortest night, the shortest <laughs> night of the year. You like the leg action? Good. Sometime <laughs> in the middle of the second millennium. Thousands of men dressed in the finest leather cloaks and linen kilts powdered and painted they come decked out in ancient ornaments made of bones <laughs> and the latest continental fashion turquoise from Brittany <laughs> ordinary life is at a standstill grain grows high in the fields the cattle 
lowbrow swine root leisurely through the uncrowded expanse of virgin forest. It's yours, Overkill. Yes, yes it's Overkill by Colin and Men at Work. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin, hi! Carl, yeah. every time when you, when you play uh, Overkill, there's a story attached to it of a guy in the front row of one of your gigs. I play the song about the goats, mate. What? <laughs> play the song about the goats. <laughs> I haven't got a song about goats. Yeah, and goats, mate. Yeah, goats. <laughs> goats appear and then they fade, go, fade away again. <laughs> You sing the chorus with the goat spit in it. <laughs> day after day, it reappears. Night after night, my heartbeat shows the fear. Ghosts appear. And fear. <laughs> <laughs> what always struck me as amusing about that more than anything was that for 17 or 18 years or something, that lyric, that was just fine by him. <laughs> Somebody singing songs for the farming community. <laughs> Your closing performance tonight is from a man who worked with a band, then went solo, and now does the occasional duet. Colin Hay will leave us with his classic hit Down Under, accompanied by his beautiful wife, the Queen of Sal Sol, Cecilia Noel, on air flute. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia.